I thought I'd do a video on the 4x5 Graphmatic back for those of you who are interested just over the basic usage of it for those who have seen it but don't quite understand its operation. Um, I'm just going to go over it here quickly for you. Now for those of you who are interested in it, I'm actually going to give away this um, this Graphmatic back and I will go over the details of that at the end of this video. So now I'm just going to talk about the basic operation of the Graphmatic back. So the 4x5 Graphmatic back is a film holder that holds six sheets of film that you can cycle through the sheets in this uh, cassette. It's a pretty ingenious engineering design if you ask me. It is able to be put into any 4x5 camera if you just sort of slide it down into place, but it also will fit onto any graph, lap, graph lock back system. So that's a pretty, uh, pretty good bonus there also. Now, it has a locking mechanism here, so there's just a twisting mechanism that will lock the unit in place so that you can't accidentally open it and expose a sheet of film. Um, so that's just a twisting lock mechanism there. Now, in order to open the unit so that you can load film into it, you have to take this silver mechanism here and push it in this direction. And you have to hold it in this direction while you pull out on this um, the dark slide ring here. So you, you push it over and pull out on the unit. Then you have to push in on this and you'll hear a little click and then pull out on the dark slide itself. And this will release the film holders or what they call septums. So these septums have a notch out here. Um, this notch out indicates what direction they're supposed to go in so that um, the film will, they'll all be lined up and the film will be facing out. And that's just the standard, you know, notch code in the upper right hand corner um, as 4x5 film also uh, indicates up at the up notch with the notch code in the upper right hand corner. So you have your sheets of film and then in the dark, you of course have to do this in the dark. It's, you know, you need to practice loading these. It took me a while to practice them, but you, you basically want to put it underneath the guide here to start. That's what I do. And then I feel for it to go under the other guide and slide it down in, and it will sort of seat down at the bottom when you push it all the way down. Then you just continue that. So obviously you put the, uh, the septums in a place where you, keep, you know they're at, and you can keep them orderly and organized. So you just continue that until all six septums are filled with your film. So I'll just do that quickly here. I usually take a little bit more care and time in doing this so as not to scratch the film, but for the video purposes, I will move it along. So there you have all six septums filled. Once you do that, you collect them and, you know, sort of make sure they're nice and flush and even. And you'll have the unit itself here. And then what you want to do inside the internal housing chamber right here is you want to place them down at an angle so that they're underneath the lip. And then make sure they're all in there and push it down. And I hold it with my thumb or something and then slide the dark slide over the top and then once you do that a little bit it will hold it will hold them in place it's spring loaded down there so then you just push the dark slide all the way in and push the entire unit back into its housing and once you do that it's uh, pretty much ready to go there but there is a film counter on the back here and it moves you can move it with your finger and so you want to make sure that that is set to number one because you, um, you're, you know, you're ready to cycle through them, so you're on the number one there. And if you choose to lock it before you, you know, when you put it in your bag or something, that's always good measure. Okay, so its general use here is what you do is once it's either in the, the camera on, in the back or attached to the, via the graph lock back, you will slide this dark slide out and it will push a sheet of film forward. And then, but you have to make sure to put the dark slide back in before you take the shot because this will cover the film that's underneath it so that it won't be exposed with any extraneous light or anything like that. So you push it forward and then you take the shot. Now what happens when a sheet of film is forward 
is that back here there's a little red dot that appears that tells you that a sheet of film is, is out, pushed out, ready to be exposed. So it's a little warning there to you. But once you've taken the shot, so you take the shot, then you, you have to take this silver knob again and push it this direction and hold it in that direction and then pull out on the, the, uh, the dark slide ring here and it will force the sheet of film down to the uh, bottom of the stack there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pushed it down to the bottom of the stack. Then you push the entire unit back into its housing and what will happen then is that the number will switch to a number, the, the number two, so it will go to the next frame and the little red indicator will go away telling you that there is no sheet of film out being um, ready to expose. There is also a small wheel right here that spins and it indicates each frame and so it, it, when, when you expose it, light will pass through that little number and it will um, expose onto the edge of your film and let you know that, um, you know, it'll just say that that's the second frame that you shot in case you want are interested in, um, uh, you know, later if you take field notes and then when you come back, you know, that was your second, second exposure. So when you're ready to take the next shot, you just repeat the procedure, pull out on it, it'll send a sheet of film forward, push it back, and then take the shot. Use the silver mechanism to push in this orientation and hold it in place and then pull out on the entire ring and it will send a sheet back to the bottom of the stack and push it forward and then it goes to the next number and indicates that there is no film um, being pushed out ready to be exposed there via that small red indicator I was telling you about. So then you just continue that and you shoot the next one and so on. So you just keep cycling through the film in that way and the number will continue to change on the back there. So we'll go, now I'm on the fifth, the sixth and final, oh, actually I'm not, I'm on the fifth frame there. So now I'm on the sixth and final frame. So once you are on the sixth and final frame and have finished it, the Graphmatic back has a unique design in that the film counter turns to an X and the mechanism, the silver mechanism here locks itself over so you cannot inadvertently pull, open this up. So the Graphmatic back actually locks itself um, when it is done, when you're done shooting all six frames, which is a pretty ingenious safety design there. So this is the 4x5 Graphmatic back. I hope that you found this uh, useful. Um, and that uh, it's educated you about the use of the 4x5 Graphmatic back. Now to talk about the giveaway on this, if you are interested in entering for um, possibly getting this through a giveaway, you have to be a subscriber to my channel and you need to contact me with your name and uh, you know your state if you're in the USA or your whatever country you live in because I will also give this away to anyone anywhere internationally, not just in the United States also. So in the description area, I will put a link to my website where you can send me an email with that information. I will announce the winner of this on March 20th. Now, the last stipulation for this giveaway is that you have to, whoever um, wins the giveaway it basically is agreeing to pay um, for the shipping of this, however much that might be, we'll have to calculate the details out on that after um, I announce the, the the winner of it. It won't cost much to ship. It's a it's a small unit and it's not very heavy. But uh, you know, once once I announce the winner of the giveaway, I will contact you um, through whatever email you have entered the giveaway um, on, and then. Uh, we'll just talk about the logistics of what the pricing will be to uh, ship it. But it's a it's a wonderful unit, and I hope whoever wins this, uh, you know, has find, has puts it to good use. And if you just were watching this video for general knowledge on how to use the Graphmatic back, I hope you found this useful.